proved to be very costly going up against the defending champion, Larry right. Bird. You know how Bird is. He feels that when the money's no. down, no one is better than himself. It, watched him. He lined all those balls up to be in the perfect position on that first rack. I'm surprised he didn't do it on all of them. He has 60 seconds, 25 balls. He has to meet 15 points. A slow start. But he warms up as he gets going. Three points out of the first rack. Now he's all over the place in this rack. Usually he comes back with that big money ball that keeps him close. He's hit both the money balls, both the two-point balls. It's like he's over-adjusting. He's come up short, and then he's all of a sudden throws it a little bit long. He certainly doesn't have that normal bird rhythm going for himself. He does he's not. At 25 seconds remaining, he has only seven. has to be 15. That's eight. Make it nine. And ten. At 11, as we're counting. 13. You rack that time for Bird. He's still got to drop one here quickly. 14. This is a tie for the money. Yo! And Larry Bird at the buzzer with the two-point ball. 17 to 15 defends the long-distance shootout crowd at Chicago Stadium. Our winner is Larry Bird. Every fan in his section Ice water in his veins. The man is really spectacular. He was all over the place, as Steve pointed out, in the first three racks. And when it came down to the money time, this is what the man responded to. He needed to make a couple down the stretch. He needed to make the last three to win. And he's down to the last three. There's one. Now he's tied. And now... He's the winner, three times in a row. He, he knew, knew it, it when he let it go and was headed for that check in the winner's circle. Bird came through with the big, big shot. All right, we're going to come back and the, have the trophy presentation and an interview with Larry Bird, who has won all three of the long-distance shootout. They're going to handicap this guy next year. We'll be right back to Chicago Stadium. So there you have the final standings of the 1988 long distance shootout. Larry Bird, the winner, 17 to 15. And it was uh, really interesting there at the end. Now, on the floor right now are Mike Chamberlain, Director of Sports Sales for Sheraton, Al Thomas, Senior Vice President of Operations West for Sheraton, Tony McKinnon, Vice President of Advertising and Marketing Programs American Airlines, and Adrian DeGroote, President of NBA Properties, presenting the check for $12,500 to Larry Bird, the winner for the third time in a row. And you can see they had a, a sticker to put on for his name, but they should just written it out to Larry early. <laughs> The question is, will he share it with the rest of his teammates? As Michael Jordan did in the slam dunk championship, my prediction is no. They say, Larry, while not being what you'd call cheap, watches his money. <laughs> He's got more than most. <laughs> Here's the presentation of the trophy. Wonder when they retire it, as how many will win. Who will be the next great outside shooter? And speaking of that, I'd be interested to hear what both of you have. And aren't there more three-point shooters coming along now because of high school and college three points there are but again the difference is being able to shoot what is considered a man shot from NBA range and being able to get some sort of rhythm bird is a set shooter and he's got the technique down to a sign I ready thank you very much Bob I guess it was no surprise but the dramatic way in which you won it this third time is amazing what were you thinking after the terrible start on that final round? Well, I just weren't about getting the two-point balls down after I missed the shots, but, uh, you know, I knew he just had 15 points, and I had still had plenty of time. Once I got to the top of the key, I knew I had to make some shots. The first two racks, the ball was all over the place. How did you get your rhythm back? Well, you have to concentrate a little bit more and take your time. Uh, minutes a long time to get up 25 shots, so I just took my time and uh, uh, was just hoping that someone would start dropping for me. With names like Al Capone and John Dillinger, Chicago's had some memorable shootouts. Maybe not stakes this hot, but nobody cooler under pressure. You really thrive in this. Well, it's a lot of fun. You know, uh, the guys come out, and it's a little bit harder than it looks. I got out there, and I knew I had to beat 15 points. I just took my time and uh, made some shots at the end, and uh, everything worked out for me. Congratulations once again. Thank you.